So what does it take to be a good personal trainer? In this video, I'm gonna share the three traits that you need if you want to be a successful PT. Hey, Lee Constantin here, founder of Personal Trainers Elite, helping personal trainers attract high-end clients and grow their income with online marketing. And in this video today, I'm gonna to share the three traits that you need if you want to be a successful personal trainer. And look, if this is your first time here, click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified every time I release a new training video. And if you do find the video helpful, click the thumbs up button so that I know to do more videos just like this one. When it comes to being a successful PT, there are really three main traits that you need if you wanna stand out amongst the competition in a very crowded market these days where everyone has become a trainer or a coach online or a fitness instructor. And it's this, the first most important trait you need to have is empathy. Because there's one thing you wanna remember is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And whilst there's dozens of dozens of courses now about how to be a good trainer and what, how to um, help people in the gym and what to eat and all that kind of stuff, what matters most is caring is really caring about your clients, your prospects, the people that you want to help, because that's what's gonna make people want to work with you. And as much as personal training is about how much you know, people buy people at the end of the day. So they're not gonna to get to know how much you know if they don't know how much you care. And it's not this kind of fake caring where you pretend to care. It's about really empathizing with people, understanding their life situations. And here's the thing, a lot of personal trainers get caught up thinking that it's as simple as eat right and exercise. And whilst that's true for the most part and based on the science, everybody's got their own struggles and challenges and things going on in their life that you might not fully understand. And so the best thing you could do is to really empathize and try to understand what's going on. And this is something that I had to learn over the years of being a PT and working with so many different types of clients, um, guys from in their 20s to women in their 50s, and knowing the differences and the struggles and challenges they have, and understanding how what you do with them fits into the bigger part of their life. And just trying to remember that, that fitness for most people isn't their life, it's not what they live for like many personal trainers, it's really a component that they want to use to give them more life. And when you can understand that you can help them make the right decisions, the right choices, and understand what's going on in their life, what struggles they're facing, so that you can make sure it works for them. And that's really important. It really needs to be something that people can commit to, they can stick with for the long term, rather than something that they do for a few weeks and stop. So think long term with your clients by first empathizing with them, understanding the struggles that they have, so that you can tailor your advice, your coaching, your support for them so that they can have long-term success. The second trait that you really need to have is confidence. You need to have confidence in yourself because when people are coming to you, they're coming because they need a problem solved in their life. And just like if you were to go and see a doctor, if the doctor wasn't confident in their advice to you, it won't make you feel confident in the advice they're giving or even following through with what they're saying. And so you really need to have confidence and really have it, not just feel like you have it, but truly have that confidence in what you're saying, in the advice you're giving. And that comes back down to the knowing, really doing your homework, making sure you have studied how to be a good personal trainer, doing the courses and doing the things that's actually going to help your clients. And confidence comes from competence. And the more competent you become in the field of personal training, of nutrition, of coaching, the more confidence you, you're going to have to project that outwards into your client. It's like if I was standing here right now talking like this about how to be a good PT, you probably wouldn't listen to me because I don't look confident, right? And people are, are gonna remember this, right? They're gonna remember how you made them feel. So if you can make somebody feel good, through projecting lots of confidence, even if it's not 100%, you know, you're not 100% right yet, or if you're not 100% sure of yourself, at least if you project that confidence, people are gonna believe in you. And that's so important if you're a personal trainer who is trying to help people, help them um, improve their life, help them step forward out of a 
dark place or a feeling of discomfort in their body, their health, or just helping them become more confident because that's what personal training does for a lot of people. It really helps them with that. And so they're going to look for people who have what they want. They wanna be around people who have more confidence, right? And so if you can project that, if you can stand with confidence, shoulders back or when you're having a consultation, sitting there tall and, and looking confident and sure of yourself, it's going to really help prospects believe in you, trust in you. If you look at the most successful people in the world, the presidents, the prime ministers, the actors, the singers, all the people who are on a stage and doing something significant, the Tony Robbins of the world, they stand there with confidence and we listen, we pay attention, we do what they say because we respect them and they have projected the confidence and the competence in what they are saying that we believe it. And so if you want people to believe you, to listen to you, have confidence and really mean it. The third trait that you need to have as a personal trainer now is more than just being a PT. It's about really understanding how to grow your business. Because look, you can have all the knowledge in the world, you can know everything about training, nutrition, and all the science, but if you have no clients, then it's, it's all a waste. It's gonna be wasted because nobody's gonna benefit from all this knowledge and skill that you have. And so if you want to be successful, if you wanna be a good PT, you have to be good at marketing yourself. You have to be good at getting yourself out there and using the right skills to get more clients so you can actually impact more people. See, being a good PT isn't just about helping the few clients you have, but it's about being able to market yourself to help even more people. And I went through this journey when I was a PT and I started out 10 years ago of really being frustrated that I just wasn't able to find more clients. I had all this knowledge, all this skill, but I was stuck with a small handful of clients and I couldn't really have the impact that I wanted on more people's lives. And so that's what forced me into learning about marketing online and Facebook ads and all those kind of things that will help me get more clients because I really wanted to impact more people. And so if you really want to have an impact on more people's lives, you have to be diverse in your skills. It's no longer about just being good at training people and coaching people on their nutrition. It's about being good at marketing so you can actually find more people to help, more people that you can impact. And so in 2020 and beyond, if you want to be a good PT, if you want to be a successful personal trainer and have a six-figure business or just help more people, you need to know how to market yourself. And I know it might feel like this whole rabbit hole, I need a website, I need a big social media following. You don't need any of that. You don't need any of that. You just need to understand where your clients are, who you want to help, and then you just need to go in and find them. It's as simple as that. And that's how you're going to impact more people, change more lives, and really do what you came into this industry to do, which is help more people, right? And when you master these three skills in 2020, they're going to help you become a very successful personal trainer and really impact people and change their lives. So hey, if you found this video helpful, drop me a thumbs up and hey, if there's a question that you would like to know about these three traits that I've shared with you today, leave it in the comments below this video and I'll get back to everyone. So leave a comment below and let me know what other traits you believe that you need to be um, in possession of to be a successful person trainer. And if this is your first time, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for a new training every week. And if you'd like to learn more about growing your personal training business to six figures, head over to personaltrainerselite.com where I share free training about how I went from zero up to six figures in just 47 days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.